everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Wild Card Wednesday where I pick a random scripture or a random technique to share with you. And I am currently in the midst of a Bible journaling how-to series. And today I'm going to be explaining how to transfer an image into your Bible. And this is just one way to transfer an image into your Bible. There's actually many. But today I just wanted to share one transfer technique with you so that you can put it to use. Here we are in Psalm 127 and I'm going to be using this template that I created. This is a template from my series that I did on rest and it's available in my Facebook group. The link is in the description box and these are all in the files section. They are for people who are subscribers to this YouTube channel and members of my Facebook group. Now my plan is to put this in the margin, but as you can see on the page before, I have done quite a bit of journaling on these verses about, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. While I love those pages, they definitely left some shadowing on the back of the page. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cover that up and then we'll get to that image transfer technique that I mentioned. So here's one way to cover that shadowing that you're seeing on my Bible page. This is just normal acrylic paint and I'm just using a paintbrush and I'm gonna do kind of an ombre effect. And this is going to just create a background in this margin that then I can put some artwork onto. On the other side of the page, it's gonna remain unchanged. Acrylic paint is a really great thing to use in your Bible. My experience is that it doesn't bleed on me. Now you'll wanna check that in your own Bible as well. But this is a really fun, safe, easy way to sort of prepare your page before you put artwork on it, cover up any shadowing or bleeding that may have come through from the page before. And it's just a really fun way to add a little bit of extra color to the page. Now I've left some space white there in the center and that is because this little stained glass design is going to end up sitting right about there. Now onto the transfer technique. I have dried my page with a blow dryer and now it's just sitting there and waiting. And while it's waiting, I'm taking my template and I'm just covering the back of it with pencil. And I'm coloring pretty darkly and pretty generously. Certainly doesn't have to be perfect, but what that's gonna do is it kind of turns my template into a piece of graphite paper. So now wherever I lay this template, if I trace over the image on the front, it's gonna press that image through the paper and come off on the back, which actually transfers it onto my Bible page. I hope that makes sense. You'll see how it works here in just a minute. I am just simply affixing this in place with a little bit of washi tape so that it won't slide around on me. Here's a ballpoint pen that has never worked, but I've held on to it specifically for this reason here, for using this image transfer technique. So I'm just going through the lettering, I'm going through the image itself and tracing it, and I'm using a pretty gentle hand. You might feel like you need to press really hard, and you actually don't. The harder you press, the thicker those lines are gonna be, and the more graphite is going to get transferred to your page, and you actually just wanna use the minimal amount of pressure that you can. So I'm really being fairly gentle as I trace this onto my page. And here's the big reveal. You can see that this margin art design that I created is now in the margin of my Bible. Now my plan is not to erase these pencil marks. So I'm gonna do my best as I'm going through here with this Faber-Castell pit pen. I'm going to do my best to really follow and cover every little bit of the lettering that I transferred onto the page and that way I won't have to worry about erasing any pencil marks. My experience is that on top of acrylic paint, pencil doesn't like to erase very well, and so I'm just sort of going to avoid that step in its entirety if I can. Now on the image itself as I'm tracing, it's not so crucial that I really get exactly on top of every pencil line because I'm gonna be going in later and coloring it. And that's gonna cover up some of the pencil marks that were left behind as well. 
Now, if you haven't had a chance to listen to my testimony about rest and about this series of templates that I created, I will link that in the info cards for you. Go and check that out. The backstory behind why I created all of these things having to do with rest has been a blessing in my own life, and I hope that it would be a blessing in yours. So you'll want to give my testimony a quick listen if you're interested. And this scripture verse really just happens to be one of my favorites having to do with rest. And it's just this promise that God gives to his beloved, which we are, we are God's beloved. He gives to his beloved sleep. And I think that's so amazing. The rest of the verse that comes before it is also really good because it gives this context. It says, it is in vain that you rise up early and go late to rest, eating the bread of anxious toil for he gives to his beloved sleep. I know many of us struggle with sleepless nights, anxiety, insomnia, nervousness, all of these things, but God gives us sleep. He promises that. And so somehow we have to remain prayerful. We have to remain vigilant and seek out that sleep that comes from the Lord. Real quickly, let me just comment on the technique I'm using here. These are my Faber-Castell brush pens and as you can see in each little section of the stained glass there I sort of went through it in three phases so the darkest I did right around the edge then sort of a medium tone and then a lighter tone on the inside and that's how I got this sort of stained glass looking effect on the page let's take a peek at the back you can see that nothing has changed and again, this was such a great way to just cover up that shadowing in the margin and be able to put some fresh art there in its place. I hope this has been a blessing for you to watch. I hope this scripture has really blessed you. I hope that you get a chance today to jump into the Word of God for yourself. It is truly amazing. If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple more of my videos that you might also enjoy. Jump over to my Facebook page, the link is in the description box below, and pick up these templates for yourself. I really enjoy seeing how people are interacting with these in the Word of God. God bless you. Have a great day.